Welcome to my tutorial on function generators. What is a function generator? A function generator generates waveforms. A typical function generator will let you generate sine waves, square waves, and triangle waves. Some really expensive function generators, called arbitrary waveform generators, will allow you to generate any waveform you want with any shape you want. To use one, you must first connect some wires to the BNC jack labeled 50 ohms. I'm going to use an oscilloscope probe here because I found that they work really well for this sort of thing. The voltage waveform will appear on the probe's tip. Now you can switch between waveforms at the push of a button. Changing the frequency of the waveform is easy too. Just use this dial and the appropriate frequency range buttons. You can also change the amplitude of the wave. And you can give it a DC offset like this. Now let's look at duty cycles. The duty cycle of a wave is basically the percentage of the time that the wave stays at the higher voltage. I can change the duty cycle using the symmetry dial over here. So what's the real world application of all of this? Well, basically the function generator saves you the time and hassle of having to build oscillators when you're prototyping a circuit. Let's run through a real world example where we make an LED dimming circuit. I have a transistor here, a power supply set to 12 volts, and a bunch of LEDs. By connecting the function generator's output to the base of the transistor, I can switch the transistor on and off, which will turn the LEDs on and off. Now I have to use a transistor here because a function generator on its own isn't powerful enough to power anything. By changing the frequency of the wave, I can change the rate that the LEDs blink. Let's make it so the LEDs are blinking so fast that our eyes can't see it anymore. It turns out that this happens at around 1000 Hz. By changing the duty cycle of the wave, I can change the brightness of the LEDs because they're only on for a certain percentage of the time. So now I know that when I'm finalizing my dimmer, I should build an oscillator that puts out a waveform that's at least 1000 Hz. You can also use a function generator to prototype audio circuits, low pass and high pass filters, and much more. You can get a function generator off of eBay for about 100 bucks. They're all pretty much the same, and the main thing you need to worry about is the maximum frequency that they can output. My generator only goes up to 2 MHz, but if you're willing to spend the cash, you can get a generator that'll create signals up to 50 MHz and beyond. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed learning about function generators.